My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here, back at you with another review for Team Wolf Season 4. And this is episode number 6, and the episode is titled Orphaned. Now, before I get to the review, I want to let you guys know that I will be talking about the episode. And if you haven't watched it yet, watch it first and then come back here and express your thoughts and opinions. But um, at the beginning of this episode, uh, we see that uh, Kate herself has been going against her share of assassins. And I mean, she completely demolishes them. Well, you know, that's her skill combined with um, the invulnerability that these berserkers have. You know, and uh, we find out that none of the assassins know directly who the benefactor is. So he's, got, he's this benefactor, I have to I have to give him props for being so secretive. A good a good um, leader. Not leader, but a good villain. Doesn't tell the people he's paying who he is. He has no reason to. But I have to give him props. He's he's doing good by doing that. But um uh, the guy from Liam's old school that um, almost died in last week's episode, uh, Scott and the gang uh, take him to um, Deaton because he's got a rare form of uh, wolfsbane used on him. And we actually find out that he is a part of a, a Buddhist wolf pack. The same, and chance the same exact thing that we've seen two other wolves say. That's how we know that they are of the same pack. Because they say three things that never change. The sun, the moon, the truth. So uh, I guess they are a pack of wolves that um, that don't that suppress their wolf changes. That's what it seems like. And Malia and Derek actually decide to go and find them, but they end up finding out that um, they all been assessed, killed by assassins by Wolfsbane at that. But uh, they do see one survivor, and it's that same girl that uh, works for that same uh, me uh, Mexican hunters. I mean, correct me on the name. I, I just, you know, so much stuff is happening that I keep on forgetting. But um, we actually find out that those two high schoolers, they're actually assassins for the benefactor. Uh, they call themselves the orphans or the orphaned. But um, Garrett uh, actually uh, gets a little upset about uh, the fact that Violet has been uh, put into police custody. So he uses Liam as a bargaining chip against Scott to um, get her back. So uh, when they actually do, they find out that uh, <laughs> Kate got to Violet first and ended up killing Garrett one of the berserkers killed Garrett. So, uh, those two assassins we don't have to worry about now, I guess. Unless, uh, unless they can come back from the dead. Unless they become the uh, zombie counterpart of Team Wolf. Who knows? We, we might see them in The Walking Dead. You know, see one with a big ass hole in his chest. Yeah, but, um,. Now, uh, and, you know, uh, for the first time this season, Scott and Chris actually kind of team up for a fight, you know, trying to uh, bring Violet back, because at the time, they didn't know she was dead. Yeah, but uh, it's, it seems like Kate, you know, she's not more twisted than she was before, because she could have killed Chris. But she didn't. She just punched. She just punched him hard in the face area. 
they, they she punched him in his no no area. But um, at the end of the episode, uh, I guess um, Kate and her berserkers went to the sewers, but she is found by none other than Peter. You know, and uh, he's pretty much suggesting a team up. She wants to be able to patrol the change, so I guess to make the Argents the greatest hunters out there again. But he, he says he wants his money, but we know what he truly wants. We've known this ever since season one. Power. That's why he's being all sneaky sneaky. He wants power. But, you know, this is a, a dangerous thing, I have to say. But, you know, when I think about it, you know, Kate could either kill him and technically be turned back to her old self. Or she could just, you know, learn to control it. And use the abilities. But according to how um, the hunters are, she's killed plenty of innocents. And I'm not talking about assassins. Yeah. Because uh, they say uh, when you kill an innocent, that's it. That's you screwed up your one chance. But um, yeah, that was pretty much it for the episode. I I I especially liked that ending part, which um, you know, go see if Scott and uh, everyone else is uh, gonna be okay. And I I really I really hope that Derek does not die this season. I mean, he seems like one of those characters that that just does not need to be killed off. I mean, he's been there since season one. He's been like one of the ma few main people ever since the beginning. I mean, I, I know a lot of the girls be like, oh my god! I don't want Derek to die, but, you know, I think he's too important of a character to kill off, is what I'm saying. But that's pretty much my thoughts on the episode. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. And even if you're watching this through Facebook, no matter if it's on a group page or a official Facebook page. But, um... San Diego Comic Con was this weekend, so I want to ask, what were your thoughts and opinions? I know a lot, a lot of us, like ninety-nine percent of of you watching, have not been lucky enough to go to Comic Con. But there's always great news coming from Comic Con. Just let me know what you, what were some of the things that you liked from Comic Con, and even what you thought of the mid-season trailer for Teen Wolf. Now, uh, I say for, the, you know, not to spoil the trailer, but there was something that happened there. It did not surprise me. And I'm pretty dang sure it doesn't surprise any of you if you've seen it yet. But um, there was quite a bit this year of stuff that I liked from um, San Diego Comic-Con. I mean... There was, uh, they showed off some stuff from, uh, the upcoming Avengers movie. Um, let's see. There was, uh, some kind of details that were told about the Ant-Man movie. Um, there was that amazing Batman vs. Superman trailer. Gosh, there's so much stuff. But I would have to say the one, and this is, this was the one thing from Comic-Con. That just gave me a total nerd gas. Sam Raimi was announcing that him, his brother, and Bruce Campbell are working on a Evil Dead TV series. And not only that, it's based around Ash Williams. Which, that just, that just got me more excited for that. You know, I hope they don't do the same crap that they did with the Army of Darkness sequel. Because they really pissed me off over that. 
They really did. You know, I just want to punch them in the balls. That's how I feel on that. But, um, you know, answer those questions down below. And also, Team Wolf was also I announced to be renewed for Season 5. We all knew this was going to happen, so... <laughs> but um, I also found out that it will be a 20-episode season, so that might be the high possibility that this might be the last season, like some people are thinking. And it will be spread in two parts, just like they did for season three. You know, it's so hard to say goodbye to such a great show. I've already said goodbye to too many shows. Only one actually ended. The others just got canceled for nothing. I don't want to say goodbye to Team Wolf. It's too soon. It's too soon. Give us five more seasons or some stuff like that. But my name's Jimmy. Until next time, bye.